This is Twit. Uh, so again, looking at this project, a couple of things that we can say about it. First, uh, the obvious winner is the SSD. I mean, yes. if you're only going to be able to replace one thing, it got the biggest boost. And you'll see that over a broader spectrum of things, because in boot time and the opening things. Right, you know. right. Yeah, so exactly, it was like 8.4% boost just from replacing the SSD alone. Whereas right? if you replace the, the video card, you're just going to see, I mean, yeah. you're going to see an improvement in video editing and in games. Yeah, so the video card alone got us what? It got us a boost of... Um, uh, something like six percent. Okay. So yeah. The boost, the boost from the SSD was about eight percent. The boost from the memory was about one point five percent. Because you hit that threshold where it doesn't make it doesn't a difference. really help anymore. Yeah. But here's the thing: if you were to if you were to buy one component, you'd buy the SSD. SSD. Mm -hmm. You'd think that if you were to buy two components, you would buy the SSD and the next highest component, which was the video card, right. which is not true. Alex, if you go ahead and bring up that chart that we've got, uh, th this is the average of about 75 benchmarks that I did over the course of, I think it was a month. Damn, Padre, you, you are thorough. I am very, very thorough. <laughs> showing you what it would be. Like, for example, if you were to buy everything, yeah. uh, so the 32 gigabytes of memory, the video card, and the SSD, it would cost you $825. It would only get you up to 4256 And again, you're taking that penalty because you've increased right. the amount of memory. That's right. Right. <laughs> but if you take a step down, if you look at what the, the highest performance boost was, it's also the best buy, which would be 16 gigabytes of memory, so half of the, the total amount that we replaced, mm -hmm. plus the NVIDIA 770, plus the SSD. That gets us 21.94% performance increase, $615 of cost. That means a 0.036% performance increase mm -hmm. per dollar spent. Now, look at the second best performance. The second best performance boost is actually that 16 gigabytes plus the SSD. Right. That gives us a 9.45% performance increase, $285, which means 0.033% <laughs> increase per dollar spent. So it, it's not what you expect. Right. Uh, you, you, you would think that the video card, since it's it was the second highest performing, would always be in there. But no, if, if you want the best bang for buck without spending more than $300, it's, it's not SSD and a new video card. It's SSD plus 16 gigabytes of memory. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's so, pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to make all these numbers available so you can actually take a look at it. But it's, it's pretty clear that when you're dealing with a balance system, yeah. like a turnkey gaming system in which the, the manufacturer has already done its homework to make sure that all the components are pretty much you know, at equal levels. There's nothing that's dragging down the numbers too much. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to look at, inc at increasing all the components right. for the boost, not just a single one.